All right, here we are. We're going to put our water in. I try to get as hot as possible out of the tap. Now, I'm not going to fill it completely up. The water level's just maybe right here. Okay, when, once this get, comes to a boil, just at a boil, I'm going to cut back to this and we're going to show you how to strain this and come out with a clean cake. All right, we've got our, our, uh, <clears throat> our bee soup which is all these cocoons and stuff in here and they've just broke apart we got some chunks of wax here's the strainer I'm going to do use what I like to do is I like to put it in here get it warm that way your beeswax will run right through it and you can see the cocoons have floated and a lot of people don't realize that in, when you're melting wax down you don't need to run it through real fine screens this wax takes on three levels. The top is going to be your crud, which is going to be all your cocoons. Then underneath that is going to be almost pure wax. And then underneath that, you're going to have propolis. And occasionally, if you have dirty comb that you dropped in the ground, the fourth, which you don't normally get, is the bottom, on the bottom of the kettle, which is going to be your sand, your grit, your dirt, whatever. Uh, some people are a little more uh, vigilant about how they set their frames down. But I've seen people just drop them on the ground and get them all full of dirt, wax them all. This is another thing too. If you don't put too many in here, your hive could be ate up with wax moth. You put it through a strainer, you're going to salvage a little wax. This is liquid gold. Look, it's the same color as gold. All right, as soon as this, I'm going to check. See, I've got a lump of wax in here yet. Got to get my lumps all done. Now, another thing you can do with this you got an organic farm, you take this after you got your wax out of it, throw it in your garden. You got chickens, this is a treat. It's got all kind of stuff. Sometimes you have a hive that's swarmed out on you, you got larvas in there. The larvas will cook up a little bit. It's a tasty little snack for these uh, chickens. And range, uh, free range chickens is a, is a good way to go. You'll have a little bee soup in your eggs next day. Not really, they don't taste like that. <laughs> okay, we are almost up. Uh, another thing I found on this wax, bring it up to everything melts. Don't boil it over an extended point because wax is like other things. You get it too hot, you'll burn it, you'll temper it, it won't roll out if you're going to make foundation with it. And then we're going to go through the process of taking this dirty comb, running it into the strainer into the buckets and then from that point we're going to roll sheets of nice foundation now the wax mills they sound like a, a pretty expensive deal but a person that's got 25 or 50 hives that machine will pay for itself in less than 90 days the machine is capable of 1200 sheets a day with three people running it you got a wife a teenage boy or girl uh, that's a nice little job for them Okay, let's see what we got. I'm gonna, I run my high tool through this just to double check, make sure I don't have no lumps of uh, chunks of wax because as I process my wax, the small chunks I'll put back in here. I just keep the big cake so I'm completely recycling all the time. Okay, I think we're about ready. Okay. Now, I got to go shut my power off, and I'll be right back. All right, we are ready to pour. Now, remember, if you're doing this on concrete, put you a little water on the floor, keep the wax from sticking. You don't have to soak the floor down, but I like to put a good amount down. Get it nice and covered. That way, if you get a spill, it lifts right off. Okay. Now... No special tools, a five gallon, uh, this is actually a four gallon plastic food grade pail. What I'm going to do is take this now, I'm going to get my, all my drips off of it, put it in here, I'm going to take this now and I'm going to pour it right through the strainer. It's just a coarse household strainer. Now sometimes you get a, a couple frames, it's got a lot of pollen in, 
it'll have that yeasty smell. This one here had a little bit of pollen in it. Uh, if you got too much pollen in those frames, it ain't going to hurt nothing. But if you just set the, the frames outside, let your bees recycle it. See, there's the pollen coming off the bottom right there. All right, now just a simple hive tool. This is not a big project. You don't have to spend a lot of money. And if you want, you can make candles out of this. You can make a lot of stuff. But if you check my video, I've got a video out that you don't have to buy a high, uh, oh, embossing machine. You can just use pieces of Luan, piece of wood, and you can make sheets of foundation. Not embossed, but nice, usable sheets. And also, if you bought a wax machine, your wife can start her business rolling honeycomb embossed candles. You just put a flat sheet out and you roll it up. You could probably do it with these thin sheets, but I'm not a candle person, so I don't know. I have several students that do that stuff. You can also, when I show you how to purify this to the next two stages, what you do is you can use it for lip balms, face creams, you name it. Polish your shoes with it. Make beeswax candles. All right, you can see right now, nothing has uh, changed that much other than pressing it out. No special tools. This strainer, Walmart special, three, four dollars. Your regular hive tool. Okay, now I'm going to get the drips out. And as you see, I've got clean wax. Now there's a little bit of uh, propolis in there and a little bit of uh, pollen. It's going to settle and you're going to have a nice clean cake. Now over here is, once it's cooled, I'm going to take this outside and dump it and then I'm going to show you that. 